Hi everyone, so this will be my review on the Milk House 2 Wick Candle in the scent Macintosh Apple. I purchased this at Home Goods for $12.99. That was the retail price. They sometimes go on sale. And you can find Milk House candles either in the single wick or the two wick format in Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Sometimes they have different scents depending on the season. All right, so. For this type of style, it's the brown paper label, which I believe it's specifically sold for those TJX affiliated stores because on the website, the two wick format is only the white with the uh, black handle. So I have a feeling they're manufactured for those retail stores. All right, going on to the ounces, I can't tell you because this particular candle doesn't really state how many ounces like their larger single wick like farmhouse style so i'm not exactly sure um that or the burn time of this the brand says it's 100 percent all natural soy wax infused with beeswax certified paraffin free and made in the usa specifically iowa so this is i guess local you can find it if you are in iowa there are also some boutiques that sell these. You can, of course, find this on Amazon, like what isn't sold in Amazon, but it's much more expensive there. All right, so let's get on to the scent. What I was able to find is that the very small description that they had for Macintosh Apple just says freshly picked bright juicy apple scent. So what I can say is that on cold and while burning, it's pretty much the exact same scent. I didn't get much layers or anything like that. I noticed that with the Milk House candles, um, there's not a lot of complexity to it. It's pretty much what you smell on cold is what you're going to get while burning. And that's good if you like blending your scents. Um, it might be a little bit too one dimensional if you just burn uh, one candle at a time. But to talk about the scent on cold, I agree that this is a very, to me, it's not a super ripe apple because sometimes with ripe apples, it can kind of smell like, ooh, it's past its prime. It's not that type of a scent. It teeters a little bit. I think an apple that was picked a little bit before its time. So it's still a little bit tart. It's not super sweet. Actually, in fact, this candle doesn't smell really sweet at all. I wish it was a little bit more sweet, like an apple juice. Um, with a little bit of like added flavor or added sugar um, but anyways the burn on this I would say that this is one of the best performing milk house candles that I've had I don't particularly like apple scents too much unless there's something else like a sugar note or maybe like a maple note just something to amp it up but what I can say is that this candle has been performing well so Typically, when I burn a candle, the first like two or three burns, since it's the first, uh, you need to wait for the candles to fully pull out. This one didn't give me any issues whatsoever. Um, it did mushroom top a little bit, but I mean, that was during the first like two burns. Afterwards, I just trimmed the wicks and it was good to go. There was no issues pulling out. I think it pulled out within a little bit less than two hours the first time. And then by the fourth burn, onwards it would pull out within the hour and then it would throw scent it would take the candle maybe about like 30 45 minutes however i do notice that with this macintosh apple i thought it was going to be a little bit light because it smells like a fresh kind of like apple type of scent however i would give it like a solid like six or a seven and i'm burning this in my medium sized bedroom so it's like there i okay Actually, it'd be like a seven. It's pretty present. Um, I can't say that it really like lingers in the air though, just because it's very like vibrant, bright, juicy. I would recommend it if you have maybe like some food odors and that type of an issue. Um, it could help alleviate that. It didn't really travel though. It kind of just stayed in my bedroom. It wasn't like that you would you know, walk in the hallway to my bedroom and already smell it. It's just when you would get to uh, the area that you were burning it, then you could smell it. Again, with the performance, it pulled out like a dream. There's like no, virtually no fallout. Let me turn over the candle just a little bit. I typically don't have it burning with this little handle because it gets hot. So let me kind of like turn it over. But if you can see right there, the wax is clear, like clear as day. I can see the wicks if I lower this just a bit more. There's nothing going on with this candle. I might even like show you an overhead, ooh, show you an overhead view 
and you could see how cleanly it's burning. Um, I guess the only thing that I have like an issue with this is that I don't particularly like the scent. Um, unlike another Milk House uh, Two Wick candle, which was the pumpkin waffle candle, that one just gave me such a headache pulling out. This one, you know, no issues like that whatsoever. The wax isn't discolored. It's still that same like milky white color. The only thing is that I wish it was like a different scent. Um, let me change the angle and I'll show you how the wax looks closer up. All right, so here's an overhead view of the candle. If you can see, there's no like sooting or anything like that, no visible soot, and no soot accumulated around this little like lip right here. What I do notice is that I can leave this candle burning for a few hours. I want to say the most I've ever burned it is about five hours and the scent doesn't get tarnished. Like I feel like pumpkin waffles, I left it burning a little bit too long, maybe like twice and I feel like the scent changed and I couldn't go back from it. But with this one, um, I've already been doing that maybe like two or three times. I probably shouldn't have and it still smells pretty enjoyable. Let me go ahead, turn on the light so you can get a better idea. All right, so there is the light. As you can see, um, even though I've had it burning, I think right now it's around hour number three, three and a half. It's going on to four hours. I should probably turn it off. But uh, yeah, no real mushroom tops or anything. I think that the only issue that I had with this candle is the scent particularly I'm not fond of. But overall, I would definitely repurchase this if I enjoyed the scent, but I don't, so I don't plan to repurchase it. But I would try another Milk House candle in a different scent that I liked on cold. Overall, my thoughts, it's a pretty good, decent strength and throw. Well, actually, throw isn't that great in terms of like it traveling outside of my room. Strength, decent. Um, I would say if you're used to like eight out of 10 decent throw from like Bath and Body Works, I would maybe steer clear from this or move this into a smaller size bedroom. Uh, definitely, I don't think this is like open concept safe. I would say it's like open concept friendly if you just want a little portion of your like living space or kitchen if it's uh, joined together. Um, but yeah, I would recommend this candle if you enjoy apple scents. I do want to note though that there's like a slight bit of a like a clean fresh like undertone I don't know if it's like a floral scent I'm not really getting that I feel like it's more of like a soapy type of a scent so if you had like a soap that was Macintosh apple scented that would pretty much be this candle um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video I hope you have a great day let me know if you have any questions okay bye